I want a refund, please. I'm sure a lot of us who are in business must have heard this before. Hello everyone, you're absolutely welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Money. Today, I will be talking about what you as a small business owner could do when a customer requests a refund. Call me Mo, I am a business owner and I share content relating to business, finance and other related topics from time to time. So the topic I will be discussing today is how you should react or handle a situation where your customer requests a refund. And before I get right into the video, I'd like to share a quick disclaimer. Thank you to everyone who's joining. If you are a first time here, you're absolutely welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much. Please note that the information I will be sharing here today should be treated solely as an educational piece and should neither be treated as a business, finance, advertisement, or legal advice. Now, the question we often ask ourselves is why are refunds made or requests for refunds made? Customers often request refunds on an array of reasons. One could be that they are not satisfied with the products that they got from you. Other instances could be that the product was defective at the time they received it from you. Another situation could just be that the customer just wants a refund. Sometimes customers will be dissatisfied in the cost of them buying products from you or even after the product has been purchased. You could be surprised that a customer that once said, oh, I love this item, I like how this item looks, calls you or gives you, sends you a message and says they just want a refund of that item. So what do you do when such situation arises? I'd also like to say that at this point, you have to look at the situation, be calm, because really it is sometimes inevitable. Sometimes you did nothing wrong. In some cases, a customer just wants a refund and there's really nothing you're gonna do about it, so to speak. But when such situations arise, how do you manage such situations? And that's why I'm making this video. And particularly for businesses who have or who aren't so used to such situations and who are wondering how to remedy the situation. So if you had a customer who requests a refund, how do you remedy the situation? First things first, ensure that you are calm, regardless of whether or not you know what is going on. Apologize first for the experiences that a customer has with that product and then ask necessary questions. Once you have asked the questions, begin your own investigation. So for instance, a customer might say the product that they received was damaged or they never received the product at all. So what you need to do is request some time from the customer to find out why such situation occurred. And once you have done your investigation and you realize there's a need to refund the customer, don't hesitate to refund the customer. It's about the easiest thing to do to save your reputation. Additionally, you could also decide to offer the customer a replacement. And this could occur in situations where the product was either non, not delivered or damaged in the course of delivery. Explain to the customer what the situation was and then request or ask if they would be willing to accept a replacement to that product. If they are willing, fantastic. You could decide to send them another one and let them know when they should expect to receive it. But if the customer continues to decides that they do not want to replace them, rather they want a refund, give them the refund. At the end of the day, you need customers for your business and you have to be understanding as well in such situations. And then when you have done what you need to do, 
or what you needed to do and you have offered replacement, you could also take it a notch higher. And that notch could be that you're also offering the customer a compensation package. So it's two things, whether you are giving the customer a refund, you could also additionally send them a compensation package for that product. Or when you give them a replacement, you also give them something to appease or heal the situation that they had earlier experienced before the new or replaced product was sent. The reason is that at the end of the day, you want to have a good relationship with your customers, you want your business to grow, and you do want the reputation of your business to continually grow. Business is always a learning curve. No one has all the answers. But with the right you know, information and the tools and the willingness for every business owner um, to want to do things right and also win, we definitely win. So this is where I'm going to stop for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I do not take this for granted in any way. And I do hope that you have found value in this video. I also must mention that this particular video is also targeted as small business owners who are just starting out and who might just have one or two challenges and are unsure of how to handle such challenges, particularly when they pertain to their customers i do hope you found value here and if you are here you feel so inclined to share this video with someone who just might need it don't hesitate so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video call me mo i am a business owner i share content from time to time relating to business finance and other related topics i hope you did enjoy this video thank you for always listening i'll see you in my next video have a wonderful evening bye